Hey now, Ceramics One. Day, I don't know what, of isolation here. I'm going to actually go into school today to prepare for our online art show, whatever that's going to be. Uh, I've got a couple of videos for you to watch. I mean, before I get to describing them, I want to say, uh, I wish there was a way I could get you some clay and you could actually make some stuff in clay at home. And I can't think of that, and you know... Uh, beyond like hiding some clay behind a bush at, at Wheaton North, I don't know. And then you could go pick it up. That would be contactless. Anyway, um, it's a shame. Uh, uh, if we get back, I imagine it would, it'll be middle May at the earliest. That's what I'm guessing from what I'm hearing doctors say on the news and radio and whatnot. Uh, or it might not be at all, quite frankly. Uh, it might be very end of May. I'm hoping there'll be a chance for you, at least those of you that took clay, to be able to drop, your, drop off your stuff and get it fired. <coughs> but um, who knows? We'll see. So today I've got a couple of videos, uh, and I'll get back to you on Wednesday with something else. And the first is a technique called scraffito. And what... The idea is, is you paint something on unfired clay, greenware. Or it could even be leather hard at this point. And that something might be a, a thing called an underglaze. Or it could be a thing called an ongobe, which is <clears throat> basically slip mixed with a colorant. And you paint those things on, and then you scratch them off to reveal a design. And then you could fire it and put a clear glaze on it. And uh, either one, I do have underglazes at school. I just haven't shown you guys them yet. Yet. So uh, uh, if we get back, you want to try this? Fantastic. If not, and here's an idea. Here's a commercial. Consider taking ceramics too, where you can continue what you've been doing, which is making hand building stuff. Or you could just make sculptures. Or you could work on the wheel the whole time. Or you could do a mixture of all any two of those or all three of those. So you could try out some of these maybe next semester for those of you who are not seniors um, by taking ceramics too. It's more fun, a continuation of fun. Anyway, so that's video number one. Video number two is a guy making a plate on the wheel. Pretty interesting right up until the end uh, where I, he, he left the lip a little thicker than I would like it. Um, but he uses a pipe of all things. I've never seen this technique, but hey, anything works. You know, uh, you look around the house for tools and whatnot, and there's nothing that cannot, you know, function as a tool. Um, and uh, he, so he's making a plate, which is a simple thing to do. What he didn't talk about, which I wish he would have, which is after the plate is done, it's a big flat thing sitting on a bat, and that thing is going to dry out and it's going to shrink. So if, if, the, if the, the plate is sticking to the bat, it's going to shrink and pull on itself and big crack in the middle, kind of an S-shaped crack. And so what you'd have to do with that is to cut it off and then put another bat on it and flip it over really quick so the bottom gets a chance to dry. And uh, so if you get a chance to do a, a, a plate, they're, they're pretty easy, but that's the biggest danger, the cracking thing. Anyway, watch the videos, reply and react to them. And that's how I give you points that go into synergy. So hope you're all doing okay. Talk to you soon.